Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you one of the most important things in Lightroom and that is file management and workflow. Get this right and this will make you one of the most productive photographers on the planet. So concentrate because here we go. Do -do 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 So this is the question that I get the most. Where am I gonna store all of my photos? Where am I going to keep my Photoshop? So my raw files, am I exported? And all of these different things. The reality is this, get it right and it's very easy to use and it means that you can go back and find all of the photographs from any client at any point without having to re-exporting or do any further edits. Everything is in one place and so easy. And Lightroom is where it all happens. So I'm going to show you in Lightroom how to import a photo, arrange all the files, where to put all the, the edited files and where to export to, keeping it so simple. Here we go. Let's jump into Lightroom. This is so simple. So the first thing that you will ever do is import the images into Lightroom. If they're already on a folder of your computer, you can import from there or you can import from an SD card, which is what I'm going to do today. Select up here. Okay, so th these are the images. I'm inside my Nikon D800 where these were taken and these are the images that I'm gonna import. You have a few options at the top. Copy as DNG will mean that each file will be converted into a DNG file, which is a Adobe kind of raw file, if you will. You can have a copy which just moves it from its current location to where you tell it to within the Lightroom system. Move, so that if they're on your hard drive, you can literally just move them from one place to another place, or you can add them. That means that you leave them in place and it just adds them to the catalog. Today, we're gonna to be directly copying them as raw files. So here we are. I'm going to rename these to Cironi because this is an amazing model called Alessandra Cironi. And this is where I'm gonna save them. I've created a new folder called 2016. I always have my images by the year and a folder that I've given up here called Alessandra Cironi. And that's where the images are going to go. So let's just hit into this one here. I'm gonna hit import. And as you see, these images, it tells you up here have been imported, 14 images, really simple. And here they are on the side, Alessandra Cironi. Perfect, 14 images. And if I go over to my file system on my computer, 2016, Alessandro Cerrone, and the images. Great. However, what if there was 800 photos there and then you made edits? It's gonna get really messy really quick. So this is what I do every single time I import. The first thing I do is I right click, create a folder inside, and I'm gonna call this folder raw. Well, I'm actually gonna call it one raw because then it keeps my folders in order then I'm going to create another one and I'm going to create this one it's going to be called two dot Photoshop these are for my these are for any edits done in Photoshop and then my third and final one that I'm going to make is going to be called three export now I do this every single time I import anything now I have a drop down and I can see these images here now the image that I selected gets moved into which uh, the folder I created. So let's just take these photos here by shift clicking them all and I'm just going to pick them up and I'm going to drop them into raw. Lightroom's going to ask me, do you want to move them? Yes, I do. So now let's go and have a look over here at my file system and I have Alessandra, I have raw Photoshop and export built and inside raw I have all of these images. Fantastic. But what if I wanted to go further? So we shot on location, we shot in a studio, and we shot by the pool. So let's just add some more folders inside RAW again. So let's uh, create a new folder. So let's select these ones from location. So select these four, and we'll go inside RAW. Let's uh, create a new folder inside RAW, and we're gonna call this one location, if I can spell, like so, create. Okay, and also inside RAW now, I'm going to select my studio shots, which are these ones here, and I'm going to go create a new folder, and I'm going to call this location. No, I'm not, I'm gonna call this studio, we just did that one, studio. 
And then finally, I'm going to write, um, I'm going to select my pool shots. Uh, and we're going to go right click. And we're going to put these ones inside a new folder called pool. So again, now I have all of my photographs inside raw, but I also have location, pool, studio. So simple. And here, raw, location, pool, studio. Now what I don't want to do is move an image from here somewhere here within my computer because that's not going to reflect inside Lightroom. So that's important, do it all inside Lightroom. So I've got my images, now what am I going to do? Well let's say that I'm going to take this shot here and let me do a really quick edit on it. Um, I won't take very long on this. Uh, I'll just rotate it like so. So let's just say I've done this edit uh, I'm going to do this. I want to make it look different though, so that we can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to pull down my skies like so. Uh, I'm going to make it look a little bit film-esque. Not quite that film-esque. Like so. And I'm going to go like so. Great. So that now looks very different. Okay, so I've done an edit. Let's come back out here. Now, if I was to go over here and now have a look at this photo, as we all know, that hasn't made any edits whatsoever. That's just the original, it's still here. I have to export it to show it to my client. This is where it gets clever. I have that image selected, and I'm going to go to uh, export, okay? And so let's go to export. <laughs> Export full, that's what I have. I'm going to rename it to Cerrone. I'm going to go 100%. It's going to look fantastic. Now, when I hit export, I want to select, so I'm going to come in here to my desktop, 2016, Sandra Cerrone, export. That's what's important. Now, I'm actually going to add a folder, and I'm going to call this full res, because the reason is this. Hit open. That's now going to export, and it's going to look amazing. So once this has done its little exporting thing, we're going to have a look in here. Now I'm going to go to export, okay? And I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit synchronize folder. Synchronize this and we're going to see here we have my edited image. Import and then all of a sudden now I have under here, you'll actually see two versions of this, okay? That's because one is inside location and one is inside export, but it means that I can always find my export. And what I can also do is come back here, let's export it again, okay? And then this time I'm going to export, but I'm going to make it um, a lot smaller and lower quality. So say it might be for web use, for example. So now we're going to export this, and within this we have export. Let's create another folder, okay? And we're going to call this one uh, small. I call it whatever you want. I usually have full res and small and a medium maybe. Hit open. And then it's going to create this again. So now when I look in here, okay, and now if I go to the top level or any of these and hit synchronize, it's now going to look through and know that there's one more photo to import. Now you might be wondering, why do I want all of my edits inside Lightroom? Oh, I had the wrong image selected. Um, never mind. But you can see here, Inside my export folder, I have two images, okay? One is very low quality and very small, okay? That's because I just exported it. We might be wondering, why do I want these just here? Why do I want an export folder? Well, that's because it doesn't take up any more space on my computer because it's not multiplying them, it's just keeping them all here. But what it does allow is that when I go into this in Lightroom, I can actually go through and see what I've already exported so that my client can go, okay, I want to give my client a large version of this. Oh, I already have that. Right click. And then all I have to do is go show in Finder. And there we go, right here in Finder. And I can just send it to them. Saves me exporting multiple times. So that's essentially how we do a file system. But what about if you want to do Photoshop edits? It's super simple. What we do is we come over here to our raw images. Now we're going to, for this one, I know that I want to use a pool image. And let's use this one. I want to use this one because I love the image. But there's, for example, a little scarring on her face. Give it a moment to load. 
and uh, there's also down the side here we have a couple of elements which i don't really like these creases so again i would like to get rid of this just here and these lines and also all the leaves in the pool so how do i do that really simple i right click and i hit edit in adobe photoshop and then what we're going to see here is it's going to open itself inside adobe photoshop like so which means that we can edit now the first thing we want to do is not command save but command shift save which is save as and here we go into export we're going to save it under the same name and we're just going to hit save hit ok and now we can go ahead and do all of our edits so let me quickly do the edits on this Okay, so here we go. Now we have the edits that we've done. So let's look at the before, which is just here. Okay, so we had the lines and the leaves and the blemish. And let's look at the after, like so. So now if we come all the way in, you can see we've got rid of the blemish and all of those lines. So we've hit control save on that, okay? And then what we do, we come back to Lightroom Okay, so this is our Lightroom just here. This is the original image. But if we go to Photoshop, right click Photoshop, synchronize folder, okay, hit synchronize, and this is our edited images. So let's import this, okay? And now if we come back to Alessandra Cerrone at the top level here, okay, we can actually close all the things down, just the top level, we can now come into this and see the two different versions the one with all the leaves and with everything here and these two lines and then the one without okay and what we can see is they're next door to each other but they're also only in their own folders under photoshop just the one so if i was to now let's add a develop onto this i actually have a saved profile for this so I'm going to do this edit here and I'm going to pull the exposure down just a hair. Come back to the library. And now when I put those side by side, I now have the initial raw image and I have the Photoshop image and, the, and this now has the Lightroom edits on it too. So now if I right click on this, hit export, let's just do uh, up here, we'll go for an expert export in full size like so hit export and we're going to come in here and we're going to add it to the full res hit open and then inside the library again right click on alessandra synchronize folder it's going to find that that one's in there and it's going to put it in there and so now we can see just with these few images we have the raw images that we can go through the Photoshop file, the export files, all ready to go. And what's really important is when we come back to our file management system on our computer, 2016, Alessandro Cerrone. So I know the model straight away. And I, I know that I have these raw images. Great. I know that I have the Photoshop images that I use for editing, so the larger files. And I also have exports. And here I have both full size exports these two and also i have this small export that i did so that's how i keep all of my images perfectly in order in lightroom and mirrored on my computer a lot to handle but follow this method and guaranteed your images will be organized forever my name is ed gregory for photos in color and if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up also, subscribe because I have loads of more tutorials coming up. And if you have any comments or anything, pop them below. I'll always respond to you. This is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com.